Okay, I have closed um, out of ArcMap and reopened it again. So I'm getting this getting started window here. And I'm just going to close it and um, go up here to File. And we want to open the 3D map. So that's in our Chapter 3 folder again, just like the other ones were. Click on Open. And we get our map of the world again. Looks a lot like the other ones. Um, and let's again do the full extent thing, make it bigger. And in the table of contents, right click on cities greater than a million, and we want to open the attribute table. And this is kind of like properties. Um, but it's a table here that shows all of the information behind every one of these. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Um, behind every one of these uh, items on our map. Okay, so this is the cities greater than a million. So every one of these blue dots here uh, has a row corresponding to it in this attributes table. So uh, object number one here is all of the information for Brasilia. And uh, number six here is uh, all of the information for Lima. And so some of it's you know pretty easy to figure out. Uh, this appears just to be numbering them. Uh, all of these shapes are just points and country name, city name, and uh, this GMI ADM, I don't remember what that stands for but you can tell it kind of looks like um, a country code maybe followed by a city code and so PER for Peru and LIM and it looks like everything is always three characters and then a few other things here and uh, that's the data for each one of these cities and we want to scroll down through the data here uh, each row here is called a record uh, each column is called a field uh, each record has a country name field. And now I want to scroll across and let's go all the way down here. And yep, there's 256 cities that have a population of 1 million or more. Now let's go to the top of page 68. We want to scroll all the way back. Actually, I don't have to scroll depending on how wide your monitor is. You may or may not have to scroll to get back over here to the left and place the mouse pointer on the vertical black bar between the city name and the GMI admin field name. So that would be, actually can't see that, that it's admin. And so we want uh, to get a two-headed arrow and we want to drag it to the left and it says as we drag, uh, the original field width is marked by a vertical red line and the new one is marked by a black line and release the mouse button before you start cutting off city name. So we can resize these if we want to, just like you would expect to be able to do, just like in Excel. Mm -hmm. Scroll to the right side of the table, and on the right side of the table, place the mouse pointer on the vertical black bar to the right of the pop class. So that would be the far edge of the table right here, and drag the pointer slightly to the right to see the name of the entire field, and uh, that is the name of the entire field that was already visible. And now, scroll to the left and place the mouse pointer on the vertical black line between FIPS country and status, so that would be right here, and I'm going to make it a little wider so you can see that that's actually country. Uh, drag the pointer to the right and release the mouse button. Uh, the country field is hidden. Drag the pointer to the right edge of the admin name. Uh, I'm not sure what they're talking about because if we I'll drag this one. There we go. And we made it so narrow it can no longer be seen. And that's one way to hide a column. And if you want to restore it, let's make that all the way. Okay, now it looks like it's complete. Now let's double click in there and it will open it up for us. And uh, we can rearrange the order of the fields. So if you want to, you know, 
click on one of these here and then click and drag, uh, you can move them around and move it back where it was before. So it says uh, we want to click the column header of the country name field. So here's my country name field. The whole thing turns blue or cyan, I guess, is a more accurate color. Uh, drag the column header to the right and uh, do it until it's between city name and admin name. So and I must have gotten these mixed up a little bit. Let's drag that over and now I've got city uh, country name next to admin name. Um, now we're on page 71. I want to click the gray tab to the left of the first record in the table, which is this little gray box right here. And uh, let me scroll up to the top. So now I'm on the first record in the table, just like they are on page 71. So now it selects the entire record and move the attribute table so it doesn't cover the map. Um, so let's drag this over here a ways. And if I select Brasilia, then that's what gets highlighted. And if I select uh, Guayania, that gets selected, Santiago. Whoops, got to click in the gray box over here on the left. So we can select items here, and we'll see all the information about them on a row. And we'll see a light blue dot that points it out for us on the map. And now we want to go to um, the top left of the attribute table. We want to click on the table um, options arrow, which is right here. And in the attribute table, scroll to, hang on a second. Uh, click. Clear selection, so now nothing is selected here anymore. Uh, I wonder if I could have done that just by going up here and clicking on the top row. Yes, I could. And in the attribute table, scroll the pop field, so I want to be here. And right click and do sort descending. Okay, so um, sort descending. Okay, and if I scroll, okay, um, what's the deal here? Um, oh, is it chopping off the numbers? There we go. That's why it didn't look right. Okay, that's not a good idea. Uh, in Excel, if that happens, you get pound signs in the cells. So the most populous city is Shanghai, then Buenos Aires, uh, Mumbai. Karachi, and so on down the line. So now we're on page 73. Um, press Shift and click the tabs to the left of the first 12 records in the table. And I don't think I need to do that. I think I can just click and drag. Just got to make sure where is number 12. Looks like Sao Paulo right there. So those are all the ones that are 10 million or above. And move the table out of the way to look at the map. I'm just going to drag it down here because there's not too much stuff in Antarctica we need to worry about. And there you see the cities that all have a population of 10 million or more. And we'll skip the on your own on page 74 and go to the top of page 75. And with the 12 records still selected in the table, right-click the pop field name and click statistics. So let's pull this back up again, right-click and choose statistics. It'll give me some statistics about my data. And it says, what is the total number of people living in the 12 largest cities? Uh, the sum looks like it is... 136,941,000. That's a lot of people. How many selected cities have value under 11,508,260? Um, I'm not sure we can figure that out. Um, yes, we can. Here is 
Well, I think I can make this a little bigger. It's kind of, can I make it bigger? No, I can't. Um, it looks to me like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay. So it looks like I'm not sure how to interpret these numbers here. Uh, we've got five that look like they must be So it looks like this might be referring to this bar here. And let me see, this is, I wish they'd put commas in these numbers. So that's 14 million. Um, then uh, this one maybe is 12,995,000. And this one I think is 11. And so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, that are less than that. Uh, let's look here in our table and so that would be if there's 9 out of 12 then it would be everything from here on down and we want 11 million five hundred thousand and it looks like I am not interpreting it correctly it looks like this must be I guess it depends on which side of 11,508,260 that bar falls on, uh, on the side of. Um, so it must fall on this side, which means we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that are under that. And so we're looking at 11, 5. So that would be everything from here on down. Okay. Close the statistics window. That's kind of a crappy graph. Um, close the statistics window and the attribute table. Here's the attribute table. And on the menu bar, go to um, selection and um, clear selected features. So those light blue ones are no longer light blue. And we want to go to our file menu and exit. And that will be the end of 3D.